This is a low top version of SB Fog, a classic pair that pays homage to the Nike SB Dunk High Fog from 2005. It retains the same black and gray color scheme like the OG with a gum rubber outsole for durability. Question is, which one do you prefer guys? The black gums or the SB Fogs? I mean, don't get me wrong, they are both fire sneakers. But let me tell you something why this B Fox is a little bit special if you want to compare it with the Black Guns. But let's talk about the materials and sneakers build first. Firstly, you will get the normal purple SB box, some stickers, but nothing special, although you will get extra pair of gray laces, which is cool. Second, the panels are all black suede leather and feels nice on hand. Retailing at 120 euros, the SB Fog will not disappoint you due to its superior overall build as well. Finally, the brandings on the heel, tongue, insoles, and most of all, the swoosh are in gray fog, but on paper, they are cool gray. Either way, what a year for the SB fans to be honest, because there's a lot of restocks, especially the SB Fogs right now. I mean, if you didn't manage to cop this bad boy in 2021, I mean, it was a long time ago already. Now is your chance because you're currently sitting on many skate shops. But let's compare both sneakers and let's see what's good. Did you see the difference that I have said earlier? Clearly, the black gums has thick and much padded tongue versus the fogs. Therefore, the latter is more streamlined in terms of silhouette. I mean, it's a matter of preference though, but if you want to ask me, I prefer the Fog's shape because it's much easier to wear casually. That's a good thing though about SBs because they are very versatile. You can wear them casually or you can also go skateboarding with them. And to be honest, these colorways right here, they are one of the easiest colorways to pull off in my collection. Not only that, they're also perfect for cold and chilly weather like autumn or winter. I love pairing my SBs with jeans, especially the faded one. The contrast between the blue and black sneakers are simply classic and vintage. Also like wearing my taupe pullovers with it to complete a more minimalist look. By the way, I prefer no bold massive prints on my pullovers or any tops just to avoid conflict of branding. Now, if you prefer a more contrasty look, then I would say choose the black gums because of the white midsole and the white swoosh. On the other hand, the SB Fogs is just a really muted and toned down colorway. And because of the toned down colorway of the gray fox, I can really see myself already wearing them in the office with my cargo chinos. You can also try incorporating flannels like the ones I have here which are also gray and I think they're great combo. Speaking of lace swap though, I tried putting in the extra gray laces on the fogs and I don't know, I just don't like it. I think I prefer more the black colorway because it somehow reminds me of the Tiffany Air Force ones. Check this comparison of both gray and black laces and you decide which one is better. 
like I said, I prefer the black ones. And finally, here's an on feet comparison of both sneakers. And hopefully, it will help you decide which colorway suits you best. Now, if you want to ask me, guys, which one I would prefer to keep if I only need to choose one of these bad boys, I am leaning towards the SB Fogs because of the more muted colorway and also the shape that I have mentioned earlier. But it's really up to you which one you are going for. You can't go wrong with these two sneakers. And like I said, they are very available this year. and yeah, I hope you can cup one. I also hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And as always, we'll see you next time. Peace.